The thing with the slap is you have to deceptively manage to create the space to throw it, okay? Without letting him know that what you're gonna do. If you do this, it is obvious that you're gonna do that. And if you do this, he's either gonna protect or he's gonna fucking hell you as you do it, okay? So what you wanna do okay, is use some sort of deception in order to place that strike. So you could be like, like, like what, what do you mean? I can't hear what you're saying. And you see in the hand, the hand starts from where the pocket is, and you throw it from there. This is uh, the way that Lee Morrison teaches it anyway. Starting, okay, so that, what are you saying, Lee? I, I didn't hear what you said. And then throw that. And you can maybe even check that hand and start throw that slap from here, okay? Once you get good at developing right body mechanics, okay, you, you learn to generate power from a, a short distance. First, learn to place it deceptively. What are you saying? Shoot, we're gonna throw it from here, okay? And then once you really get good and you start developing power, learn to throw your slap from inside him, from inside his hand, okay? Okay, from here. Okay. From here, you see how much distance? That much distance, you have to be able to generate power from here. The first bit, okay, of the body mechanics would be the rotation of the hip. Very, very important, okay? This is how you generate most of your power, by rotating the hip. This is how I can manage power from here, such a short distance. You could start and throw it from here. You could be here and throw it from here. You could be here and throw it from here. Okay, same thing with the left. It doesn't really matter which one and how you throw it. This would be how to use it as a primary option. Meaning that it is the first thing that you would do. And then that would maybe give you the possibility to do something else. If I maybe throw that shot, that slap him down and he's still there, now I can grab him and then continue with something else. Yeah? I could be here talking to him and have his hand here and shoot and have this. I could throw some sort of back fist before I throw the slap as, a, as some sort of diversion. So if I'm here and I flank him from here, look where my hand is, and I can throw that nice big slap to the ear and the brain stem, the back here, which is a really good target as well. So same thing here, I could be here talking and say, listen, I don't want you talking about coach, you talk about it. I'm sure I let him and then throw this, okay? So this would buy me the, uh, the proper body alignment now to shoot, to really throw that, okay? I could also, as I said, I could also maybe uh, throw something to, to his throat at the same time as I fly, yeah, and then, then be able to throw that stuff. So I could be here and say, listen, can't you just talk about it? Well, come on, man, and then throw your slap from here. So that would be uh, different ways that you can use your slap either as a primary option or as a secondary option. Listen, mate, what did you say? <laughs> okay, from there. Come on, man. <laughs> okay. Come on, man. <laughs> okay, Up the whole slap. Okay, same thing with the left. Okay, if you're here, start from there. <laughs> okay, from there. <laughs> okay, from there. <laughs> Exactly the same with your left, okay? 